Hi, welcome to this week's installment of Finding Meaning in the Mahzor. Over the past couple of weeks in these videos, I've shared with you some of the additions to the Mahzor Lev Shalem, the High Holiday Prayer Book, that are modern and contemporary, English readings, poems that were added to the prayer book. Today, I wanna to share a more traditional source. It's a piyut, a liturgical poem from the Middle Ages by the poet Yehuda Halevi, who lived in Spain in the late 11th century, early 12th century, and wrote beautifully of his longing for Israel and his longing for God. And this poem that I'm gonna share is sort of a fragment of a longer liturgical poem, and it appears in our prayer book in the context of the evening service for Yom Kippur. So I will share the English translation on my screen. It's called, The World is Full of Your Glory. Adonai, where shall I find you? High and hidden is your place. And where shall I not find you? The world is full of your glory. I sought your closeness. I called to you with all my heart. And going out to meet you, I found you coming toward me. The poem beautifully expresses one of the central theological tensions in Judaism, the tension between the idea of God as transcendent, as being beyond our reach and our understanding, and the idea of God as being imminent, of being close to us. This is a tension that Judaism resolves essentially by not resolving it. Judaism continually portrays God in both of these ways. God is both imminent, indwelling, and transcendent. And that can be kind of a difficult concept for us mere mortals, but I think that in a way it gives us various conceptions of God that can be meaningful to us, perhaps at different times in our lives. Yehuda Halevi expresses this duality in the Jewish concept of God in this piyut, in this poem, when he variously says to God, where shall I find you? High and hidden is your place. And he says, God, where shall I not find you? You're everywhere. Halevi goes on to express a very powerful facet of the idea of the imminent, close, indwelling God, the idea that God is accessible to us. Halevi expresses his desire to be close to God, to be in relationship with God. And then he writes, going out to meet you, speaking to God, going out to meet you, I found you coming toward me. What a beautiful image because of the transcendent element of God's nature, because we believe in a God that we can't physically apprehend, it's easy for us to assume that if we have a relationship with God, that that relationship is one-sided, that we're doing all the work. Halevi expresses a powerful idea that God is ready to meet us halfway. God is waiting for our call, waiting for us to reach out and ready to reach back in love. That's the image with which I would like to close out this little video mini-series for the month of Elul. The image of a God eagerly awaiting our prayers, awaiting our approach. And I think that that might be a good image to hold with us during this very unique high holiday period. For many of us, these high holidays are going to look very different than any we have ever experienced. And we might worry that we're going to feel disconnected from the service, from our Jewish community, maybe even from God. It's good for us to remember that even if Rosh Hashanah finds us sitting on our living room couch rather than sitting in the sanctuary, even if we're connecting to the service via live stream rather than in person, that God can hear our prayers and God is waiting eagerly to receive them. God is always tuned in. God's Wi-Fi is always working. I hope that we'll have the courage to reach out to God this high holiday season and to feel God reaching back to us. Wishing you a Shana Tova, a happy, healthy, and sweet new year.